Hi, I'm Jerry Evola, and I'm going to be taking uh, a city tour, and uh, we're going to have some fun. So, uh, uh, glad to have you with us, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Spaniards, uh, when they were taking over from the American Indians, built uh, missions from Guatemala all the way to Sonoma, California. Today, when you say, you know, what is the route called? It's called the El Camino Real. It just means the King's Way, the King's Highway. And uh, they put uh, mission towns every day's worst ride from one mission town to the next. So, so from 1523 to 1823, it took 300 years to build all the missions. Today, that would take up uh, 11 states wow. and a large portion of, you know, some portions of Central America and of course Mexico. And uh, so when the Spaniards came in through San Diego, they built the first what was known as the Alta California Missions. And Alta means higher California and Baja means lower California. So they built the first of 21 missions in San Diego and each being a day's horse ride uh, from San Diego to Sonoma. So it was a 21 day horse ride from San Diego to Sonoma. And uh, they also decided that they were going to protect the area from uh, invaders. So in some of the uh, most strategic locations, they put up uh, military bases to protect the areas from uh, being uh, taken by uh, another country. And uh, so the Presidio uh, was finished in 17, or 1776 and uh, they, uh, the Spaniards used it and they had control of California until Mexico gets their independence in 1821. Then the United States takes over 1846. So this is coming into the main entrance into the Presidio and if you look closely, if you can see on the left and right, there's Spanish cannons. Can you see the cannons yes. right there? This is the main entrance, the Presidio of San Francisco, established 1776. So, when they started closing the military bases down, uh, they were going to save them by making a new national park and recreation area. That area is called the Golden Gate National Park and Recreation Area. And uh, like Alcatraz, it's federal uh, property, and uh, it was turned into the national uh, uh, park and recreation area because uh, they could give tours over on Alcatraz. But, uh, and there's an island out in the bay called Angel Island. That was a military base. And uh, so, the Presidio shuts down in 1991, and they said there's, there's too many buildings and too much upkeep, so we're not going to turn this into the uh, part of the Golden Gate National Park and Recreation Area. And two of the senators from California said, we have to keep our history and we're going to find a way to make it work. And they were Diane Feinstein and, uh, uh, and uh, Barbara Boxer at the time. And they got the, uh, the Presidio Trust Fund to start renovating buildings. And then they were going to just uh, rent the space out and lease the space out. So there's 8,000 people living in the Presidio today. And this area to the right side here was the military hospital. It was called Letterman General Hospital. And Letterman General Hospital was the main... Uh, uh, hospital for soldiers coming back from war and uh, being treated here. And they used this in, uh, up until the Vietnam War and they had medevacs coming here. But see the buildings on the right side? These are the original buildings. Now, George Lucas saw this location and said, I want to have this location for my new film school. And if you look to the right side, there's more, uh, there's uh, modern buildings. And the modern buildings fit into this type of architecture. So George Lucas had to make a bid to the federal government, and he had to be smart about uh, about what he was going to uh, uh, say in his proposal, because if they say no, that's your only chance, and you blew it. 
So you know what he said? He said, I'd like to have this location. I'll give the federal government $350 million. And I'm going to tear down the old buildings and I put six new buildings up. And it's going to be, uh, uh, they're going to blend in with the, uh, uh, the architecture of this area. And these buildings go back uh, to like the Civil War. How about that? And this is coming into the main post area. So guess what? He said, and, and I don't want to take away the name of Letterman because it's historic. He said, my film company, my digital facility will be called Lucas Letterman Digital Center. And he said, and everybody that is here has to pay rent to keep things going. He said, how about if I give the federal government $8 million a year for rent? And you know what the response is? When would you like to start doing this, Mr. Lucas? How about that? So, uh, so it's now uh, Lucas Films and... Lucas Films was uh, purchased by the Disney Corporation uh, just about six years ago, and they paid four billion dollars for all of his companies, and uh, so they're running it uh, today. So you can actually go into the main building of Lucas Films, uh, uh, Lucas Letterman Digital Center, and uh, they have a statue on the outside of Yoda, and on the inside there's another statue of Darth Vader. So, and may the force be with you, whether it's the dark force or the light force. Mm -hmm. So this is the main post area here. There's a lodge. You can stay overnight here. And uh, we talked about the Disney Corporation, but Walt Disney's family, his daughters, wanted to celebrate their father's uh, legacy and history. So they opened up the Walt Disney Family Museum. And uh, this is a, a treasure. And uh, once you go inside there, you can spend uh, two to three hours in there easily. Uh, they've got uh, mementos and, and uh, Academy Awards from, uh, from animation and uh, original plans for Disneyland and uh, all kinds of uh, wonderful things. And uh, the City of Trust Company is right here. That's what got it off the ground. The oldest building in San Francisco is a couple of blocks away. It's the uh, original uh, Spanish, uh, uh, it was the uh, original uh, Spanish uh, dining room and lodge and, and uh, it's been renovated and that's the oldest building in San Francisco still in the Presidio and it goes back to like uh, 1776 so I mentioned that the a lot of the old housing is uh, is being used people are paying rent and so if you look around here, you'll see the residential area that we're coming into. And uh, look to the right side, you see garbage cans. There's actually people living in, in these, uh, these little cottages. They're, they're quite nice. This is also going to take us over on the left side coming up. It's the Presidio Veterans uh, National Cemetery. And uh, the oldest headstones go back to the Spanish-American War, 1898. On the right side, on the other side of this uh, fence right here, are bunkers because they were worried about uh, enemy ships coming in during the Civil War and especially during the Second World War. Is it the bunkers on the yeah. right side here? Yeah. Because there's only one entrance coming in from the Pacific Ocean into the base system and it's through the Golden Gate Straits here. So that's why the Golden Gate Bridge gets its name. But anyway, there's only two existing cemeteries in San Francisco. There used to be cemeteries all over the hills. And guess what? You know what the politicians said in 1900? They literally said there's too much dead weight around here. We can't do anything. So we're going to have to ban cemeteries and take the remains, the, uh, let's exhume uh, uh, and bring the remains into a new location and we can start a new cemetery city. So that area today is where most people are buried when they want to get buried and they die in San Francisco. It's a place called Colma, not to be confused with the word uh, comatose like Colma, <laughs> but it's C-O-L-M-A, Colma, California. It's 10 miles uh, uh, south of San Francisco. That's where all the major cemeteries are. I have a lot of Italian relatives living, or living, uh, uh, buried, <laughs> it's a better word, uh, in, uh, in Colma. My favorite bumper sticker that I've ever read, the guy was living in Coma and the bumper sticker was in front of his, uh, his car because if you live in Coma, you know you're outnumbered by the dead, it's two to one ratio. And the bumper sticker said, gee, it's great to be alive and doing well here in Coma, so it's absolutely perfect. There's some horses to the right side and the first Buffalo soldiers were, were stationed here in the Presidio. And, uh, 
and that was uh, uh, during the Civil War. And uh, today, the uh, the horse stables are being used by the National Park, so uh, they uh, they patrol on, on horseback. To the right side, we have Chrissy Field, which once was an airport, and uh, this is where the medevacs would uh, land and bring the 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 wounded soldiers to the hospital, Letterman General Hospital. And since uh, they turn it into a national park and recreation area, they grassed everything uh, over. And uh, you have big celebrations here, like uh, uh, Independence Day celebration, Fleet Week, uh, and, uh, and lots of uh, uh, places to walk and exercise along the bay. It's, it's quite nice, actually. This is a big attraction. To the right side, you can see the new Bay Bridge. Can you see that silver bridge right there? Uh -huh. And we're going to take a look at the Golden Gate. That's that's the next thing that we're going to take a look at. And I was mentioning Angel Island to the right side out there. That was the processing in station for the first Chinese immigrants coming in, into America because they wanted a better life and they uh, wanted more freedom. And uh, we call it the Ellis Island of the West Coast because Ellis Island is where the Europeans were processing in. And uh, it, 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 it has, uh, yeah, it, it, uh, it, it, they have a ferry boat there where you can go over to Angel Island and, and spend a few hours there. Or kayak. And, or kayaking, and, uh, and you can bring your bicycle if you want to explore, but it's all protected by the Golden Gate National Park and Recreation Area. Yeah, there's a lot of information uh, areas along the way and stuff. It's, uh, it's quite interesting.